And it's just foggy this morning. We gotta go uh, pick up our Lincoln Navigator. We uh, gave it to my son and his wife to drive in the serpentine belt uh, tensioner pulley. Went bad this morning and burned the belt in two. So they're sitting alongside the road. We gotta go help them, so let's get going.
assume you know either or because if I have your van I have to take the freaking back to you know. He's probably taking it back to our house. That, yeah, that's totally fine. We know what it needs, so I'm gonna go get it.
got it. I'm using the new straps I got from Mighty Products. Uh, there's a, they're, they're a eight point tie down. Uh, I used to use lasso straps and uh, kind of pull two forward and two back, but I just didn't feel like they were as secure as I really wanted them to be. And I really like these straps. There's, a, there's a, you know, two contact points for each one and it pulls good on the tire. I really like the way it works, so uh, I'm not seeing it move back and forth like like it does. It would, with the lassos, it would kind of lunge forward or back, even though I use the lassos to pull two front ones to pull forward, two back ones to pull back, but these just work so much nicer. I'm very happy with these so far. I don't know if you could tell in that video, but a box truck went to go around us. wasn't paying attention. And it's foggy like this, and there was a truck coming the other way and the other truck had to, had to come to a, a quick stop to avoid an accident because the box truck driver wasn't paying attention. Unreal.
So one strap and two ratchets, and I chose these hooks instead of just open-ended chain because I don't have any. I only key ha have keyholes here and way in the back of the bed. But I got stake pockets all the way through. It's the only place I got keyholes, keyhole slots. So these work out just fine. If this truck sticks around too long, we're gonna redo the bed and we're gonna be taking this off and doing something different on the outside here. But uh, yeah, I really like these. I'll put a link down below so you can get them from Mighty Products. Working load limit, 3,300 pounds a piece. Braking strength, 10,000. Yeah, anyways, I like them. So we cram them all underneath the seat here, but obviously that's not ideal. So uh, next thing I need to do is uh, get a couple toolboxes underneath this, at least to get us through the winter, because we got so many so many chains and binders and straps now, there's just not enough room for them. So uh, I guess it's time to put a toolbox on it. That'll be in the next video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Something's missing. What? A bearing. Oh. Holy dog. So you can buy this, just this, or the whole assembly. And I figured we just get the whole assembly. And it's a good thing I did because it's already ground into this one. Even though we really didn't, wouldn't have to have that. But um, I just went to Napa and got the whole assembly. And I got uh, a new belt too because this belt is missing a complete rib all the way around. It probably um, went to one side and started rubbing against the arm before it actually came off. But anyways, it's not real difficult. I mean, it took me like all of what, five minutes to get it off. It's pretty simple. Mm -hmm. Hardest part's gonna be getting the bolt started in here. I don't remember what my day started as, but I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure there was some things I was supposed to be doing. I can't remember now. Get well, this. we had some running to do, and then we're going to work on a mini truck. Yeah, we're going to work on a mini truck. Well, I'll get these run in. It's going to take a few minutes. All right, it's all back in really quick. Not a big deal at all. Uh, when I had it off, I spun all the other pulleys and made sure they didn't have any noise or any play and checked the water pump and the uh, AC compressor, power steering pump, all that. So we make sure that it's all spinning good and make sure that, you know, wasn't, this just wasn't the effects. Make sure it was actually the cause, which it was. So then we take the old belt, even though it's kind of damaged, we'll take that and Put it in that sleeve and we'll put it in the back of the back of the car and if you get broke down somewhere can't get a belt that's enough to get you home maybe <laughs>